Welcome to another attack that we will perform on our Metasploitable machine. And this one is aimed on Telnet. Keep in mind that this vulnerability is only possible due to information disclosure. And you will see by the end of this video why. So I got my scan right here and we can see that the Telnet is running on port 23. If we check out the version, it says Linux Telnet D. That doesn't seem to give us that much of information about the actual version. If we just copy this version right here, open another terminal, we could just do the same thing that we did with the FTP version. So we could type search exploit and then paste the version name. And it seems that we got two different results. And from looking at them, they don't seem to be useful for us. The first one says netkit, telnet 0.17, and it says in brackets that it's for Fedora 31. And the second one doesn't seem to be something we're looking for either. We can't get the exact version of telnet, so what are we going to do? Well, we know that telnet requires username and password in order to log in. So let's maybe try the default credentials. To try them, and to connect to the Telnet port on some machine, we can type in our terminal, let's first clear the screen, Telnet, and then the IP address of the machine that we want to connect to. In my case, 192.168.1.5. And I press here enter. Do you see it? Not only do we get the banner for the Telnet, but we also get some additional information that shouldn't be here we get this statement that says login with msf admin slash msf admin. And if you remember this banner and these things are exactly the same as the banner that we get once we log in to the Metasploitable, as you can see right here, these two are exactly the same. They just hosted the same banner on the Telnet open port as well. So if they already gave us username and password, let's use it. Let's see whether it will work on Telnet. If I type msf admin and msf admin as the password, here we are. Once again, we are on the Metasploitable machine. Just this time, you will notice that we are not root account. So if I type who am I, we are the msf admin, we are not the root account. And this is something that we can easily bypass. If I type the command sudo su, it will ask me for the password for the msf admin, and we already know it from the banner, it is also msf admin, I type it in, press enter, and now we are root account, as we can see right here, and also if I type who am I, it will tell me we are root account. Now, I know what you're thinking, this is too easy. Something like this will never happen in real life. And you are correct, these types of vulnerabilities will rarely happen. However, we are slowly processing to higher and higher vulnerabilities. The last two were just misconfigurations and information disclosure, while the first FTP vulnerability had a vulnerable software running. After we finish showing a few more vulnerabilities for the Metasploitable machine, we are going to go on to the Windows machines and you will see that we will manage to exploit them without them having any additional softwares like Metasploitable does. So things are soon about to get even more interesting. See you in the next video.